teeth when I was 19 years old. But um, I, I visited a dentist and he scratched my gums. And then when the bleeding stopped, um, there were no gums left. And so my teeth started to fall out. And from that time on, we were told, you, you know, you'll be okay now because if there's any problem bleeding, we've got uh, things we can give you beforehand. I was born in 1893 and she was the youngest daughter of my grandfather who was born in 1850 and my uh, one of my cousins was the maid of honour at my mother's wedding in 1915 so uh, the you know a lot of my relations were very, very much older than me. Um, for myself, I suppose it was every time I needed to have one of my teeth extracted because the, you know, I had gum infections and all sorts of uh, horrible problems and that. And uh, gradually had to have more and more teeth out. So then I was given um, a cover before, before the dentist sort of always been rather bored with the, um, you know, I've always called my file the misery file and, um, you know, I've always uh, just accepted that whatever I've been given is, is the best thing for me mm -hmm. and, um, uh, you know, and then it's unfortunate that this contaminated blood came in and, um, which was uh, very bad for my brother, of course. I was offered another course of um, having interferon, um, but I was told the side effects would be even worse than the previous ones, and it would take a year. I was told that if I'd had this, it might put an extra five years on my life span. And uh, I did go away for a month in France, uh, thinking, well, if I'm going to have a year not um, able to do anything. Uh, I'll, I'll have a good break and think things out. And when I came back I thought well if I give up a year of my life now where I'm fairly okay with a view to um, gaining five years of sort of in my 90s sort of thing um, or, or late 80s I, I'd rather have, have the time now. So I decided not to go ahead with the treatment working as a double glazing salesman, um, self-employed, uh, commission only. I had done extremely well up until the time when I um, uh, had this interferon uh, come into the equation. Um, because I then found that when I was talking to people who I'd never met before uh, to persuade them to have the company's products, um, I'd then uh, go very red and I'd start sweating. Um, my voice would sound very, very hoarse and I felt, would feel very, very uncomfortable. My income did really plummet and, um, uh, you know, things did get uh, very nasty. I felt very lucky that um, I was born at all, which some people don't seem to consider to, to be uh, uh, much of a thing. I'm very lucky to be born here in this part of the world um, and also to be born at the time when so much was happening you know this uh, wartime I was seven in 1940 when the uh, Battle of Britain took place overhead mm -hmm. and uh, saw so much of the war going on it was just like being in the middle of a film all the time I wasn't going to go ahead with this uh, year's treatment with the interferon and so um, I was then called in to see the specialist and my uh, doctor who I've seen a lot at, um, you know, over the years at St Thomas's and a nurse and uh, we sat down and I thought, ah, oh, I'm in the hot seat and um, so it finished up um, uh, with me saying, well, how long have I got? And um, so I was told, um, you know, without having, having any further sort of remedial treatment, and um, then when I left the room, uh, the nurse said to me, you took that very well. I said, well, how do you mean? She said, well, some people get upset, you know, when they're told they've got a definite time. 
I said, goodness, I said, he said, three years. I said, I'm hoping to put on a play next year. And if he'd said anything less than one year, that would have been a disaster. But, um, you know, if it's more than a year, that, that's a great benefit. And the other thing, of course, is that if I'd gone through this year of treatment and, uh, um, you know, which didn't sound at all pleasant, and then got myself knocked down by a bus, it would have all been wasted.